Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create this type of dashboard inside your android app so guys video is going to be more important and before start please i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos let's start first of all you can see that i have created a simple android studio project and you have to convert your root level layout to relative layout and inside this i will create a view give width match parent and height to 100 dp put forward slash and now we have to design the background for our this view to design the background right click on drivable new and click on driver resource file i'm going to name this bg underscore view press ok button and change this selector to shape here i have to type corners bottom right radius would be 75 dp and give bottom left radius to 75 dp as well put forward slash to close this tag and next type here so solid android colon color is equal to purple underscore 700 so i have designed this shape and now open your main activity and type here android colon background at the rate of drivable bg underscore view that's it give an id to this view because we now we use ids in relative layout to arrange our views so give an id like top underscore view next we have to type here grid layout width match parent height wrap content and type here layout below id and give this view id here copy this id and paste this id here and next while designing i will give the height of my grid layout to match parent remove this forward slash and put angle bracket to complete your grid layout and inside this type here card view and give android colon widths 150 dp height 150 dp close this card view tag and next inside this card view i will use linear layout width match parent height match parent give an orientation to this so i will choose the orientation vertical and before designing the layout of our card view uh, we have to add some line in our grid layout we have to type here android colon column count two and row count to three basically i am defining that how much rows and columns will appear to my grid layout give margin left 24 dp and margin right 24 dp inside our linear layout i will put an icon and a title so just type here image view width 80 dp and height 80 dp put forward slash it is giving me an error in my bg underscore view file so we just have to put forward slash to close this tag in the image view next type here android colon source at the rate of drivable so i have designed an icon here not designed but i have created an icon in my android studio and you can create the icon by just right click on drivable new select vector asset and click on this clip art art to view the android icon library and from this you just have to select an icon you can search the icons here to search for a specific icon so i have select settings press ok name this file i am going to name this ic underscore setting ic stand for icon and press next and finish button to change the color of this icon just click on ic underscore settings and change this tint to like color i am going to give my primary color only which is purple underscore 700 if you want to see where this color is defined you just have to open the values and color dot xml here you can see that we, i have defined a color purple underscore 700 you can define your custom colors here so we have learned how we can add an icon to our android studio i will create four more icons for my app by using exact the same technique next again open activity underscore main and here type layout gravity center horizontal it will center your icon in the card view horizontally and next type here inside your card view type here card corner radius 15 dp and card elevation 12 dp the card corner radius property is used to round it the corner of your card and card elevation property is used to increase the shadow of your card view now click on this grid layout and give margin top to minus 80 dp next inside your card layout type here column weight 1 and row weight 1 next type here layout row so i have type here four properties layout underscore row one and layout underscore column zero these two properties are defining the position of our this card view layout row one means that it will be in the first row and layout column zero means that it will at the zero position of this column if i will change its value from zero to one it means that it will appear at this position because i have defined column count two 
it means I cannot insert more than two columns inside my grid layout. Next, we have to define a text view here. Give width wrap content, height wrap content, text, home, layout, gravity would be center horizontal, text size 18 sp, text style bold, and text color would be black. That's it. Next, just clean your code by removing extra spaces from your code. And next, I have to copy this complete card view and its code. Copy this and paste this again and change its column layout underscore column property from 0 to 1. It means that this column will appear at 1th position. Again, paste this card view and now change its row to 2 and column to 0. Put forward slash to your text view. Again, paste here this card view and put forward slash at this text view and change this layout column from 0 to 1 and this row from 2, 1 to 2. Paste this card view again and change this layout underscore row from 1 to 3. It means that our this card view will appear at the third position and change this column from 0 to 1 or remain it at 0 position. Again, paste this card view here, put set forward slash and change this layout underscore row to 3 and column to 1. So friends, you can see that my these card view of dashboard have been appeared. Next, we have to add a property layout margin 12 dp to your each card view. And you can change this Android colon row count property from 3 to 4 or 3 to 2 if you see any problem in your this user interface. Next, again, I will copy this property and paste this in my each card view. Next, you have to add another property Android colon gravity to center to make your icon and your text view exactly at the center of your card view. I will copy this line of code and paste this to my each card view. Next, if you want to change the color of your icon, just open your icon and change this value from Android colon tint to add the rate of color forward slash purple underscore 700. It will change the color of your icon. Next, I will create four more icons and then I will select each of my icon and at this position Android colon source, I will give the name of that icon. So friends, I have changed the icons. You can choose icons according to your own requirement or you can directly download these icons from flat icon website which is best website to download free icons and paid icons as well and i have also changed the text inside these text views like home settings search phone watch and logout and finally i will just i have to place a text view here with the name dashboard so just click on this design drag and drop a text view here and uh, click on this text view and type here dashboard text color would be white text size 24 dp 24 sp text style bold layout center horizontal is equal to true and margin top 30 dp that's it and you can increase its text size from 24 dp to 36 sp that's it friends my design is complete and now i will run this app to my emulator so we can see how it will look on our mobile phone so i i am going to select pixel 4 emulator device and uh, i will click on play icon so friends you can see the output to my emulator and uh, I have made some changes in my code. First of all, I have converted all the card view width and height from 150 dp to wrap content. And next, you have to do one more changes. You have to convert this layout height from wrap content to match paint. And you will find this type of dashboard inside your Android app. So friends, I hope you must enjoy this video. And if you have any question related to this tutorial, you can ask us in the comment section. I will try to answer your question. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos thanks for watching